Okay, welcome back to our live Virginia This Morning show. You know, several times a year, our great friends from the Sylvan Heights Bird Park in Scotland Neck, North Carolina, just over the border, they come up to see us with many of their friends from the park. Brett and Mike Lubbock are back along with their intern, Deepak. And it's always a pleasure to see you guys. I know you're in town when we have the plastic on the, on the carpet. <laughs> it's and it's like not for you guys, it's for the ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about these beautiful little ducklings that we have. And they're, they're freckled ducklings, the, yeah, as freckled uh, ducklings. Was saying? Yeah, they're, they're actually very interesting because they come from Australia. And we were given them, or five pairs of them from the Australian government. Really? All, yeah, because they wanted to, they sent five pairs to England and five pairs to us in America. And their idea was that there will be enough of them around if anything happens to them in Australia, because they're getting very rare there. Are but, they really? Yeah. Ducklings are becoming well, rare? Well, not the ducklings, but the actual the freckled species. ducks, the species. Is yeah. it because of um, just development? Uh, Change in climate? Yeah, yeah, habitat, habitat is always a big problem. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, uh, there's still quite a number of them, but they just wanted to get it, uh, get it out there. He's a little bit antsy at the moment, but he's he all right. But anyway, so they're kind of neat. And so we actually probably have about 30 or 40 of them. Tell us about, um, you know, I, I'm here patting this beautiful right, little right. bird mm -hmm. right here. Yep. And that's the, the beauty of going down to Sylvan Heights mm -hmm. is that visitors can get this close to birds. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 And um, with the, the babies, if they'll probably be with the parents, but we do have an incubator where when the visitors come in, they can see what's hatching out and stuff. And oh, that's wow. really cool. What's the life expectancy of these birds right here? Ducks are about 15. 15? 15 years, yeah. Um, you want to get yep, the yeah, yeah. What's yeah. so special about those two um, birds? Well, I mean, they're only about uh, 10 days old, if that. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, they don't feather up till they're about uh, two. Uh, and how big are they? One or bigger than that. They're not a big duck, yeah. but they're kind of interesting. Oh, what do we have here? Right now, you should know this one. Yeah. Is this? <laughs> That's a Hawaiian goose, the nene. This is the nene. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We're not talking about the dance. No, right? no, forget <laughs> the dance. This was around before the dance. This <laughs> is the actual nene mm -hmm. from. Hawaii. State yeah. bird of Hawaii. Mm -hmm. What is so rare and special about this bird? Right well, the here? populations declined very dramatically because of, you know, things we were talking about, the freckled duck habitat. It likes the ring, maybe because of the Hawaiian wood you got there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and um, so thanks to my father, Mike, and uh, some other people in England, and you can explain that. Well, yeah, in, in the early 60s, um, we were, well, we were given nanes before that, but uh, we, I helped to take back 49 uh, to Maui and release them in the crater there. Is that so up yep. in Haleakala? Yep, right there. And, yep. and, and Brett and myself, <laughs> we, we, had, we, we were just there separately <laughs> I know, I didn't even know. <laughs> over the last month. Right. And really, the Nene is revered there. Yes, it's which is great. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a state yeah, bird, a but state it is bird. revered. I mean, yep. you see signs, Nene crossings all the time. And it's uh, yep. it's just um, so special. Uh, what is what is it that people find so fascinating about well, this I, I think it's a very sociable goose. And which might have been one of the reasons it declined so badly. But um, the the geese, when you're in Hawaii and it's not breeding season, they'll come up to people very easily. And we we saw one on a golf course and just kind of walked around and everything. Um, but uh, they are a special goose, and I think you know um, they're celebrated because they're a bird that's been there for so long. Yeah, look at the web feet yeah, right but, here. Well, yes. And they don't the, even have the, the full webs. Yeah, they don't have full webs because over the years, because of the volcano the area, the, the lava area. there, they um, don't need a web because there's no water up there except for the rainwater. No ponds. So they don't need it for swimming. So the, the webs have receded over the years. Pretty durable because that yeah. Um, yeah. that lava rock is very harsh. Oh yeah, I mean, and, absolutely. Yeah. And you probably realize you saw lots of cats and mongoose that they have to try and survive. Yeah, that's one that's of the reasons, problems. the problems yeah. Yeah, for survival. That's why they go way up in the, into yeah. the crater. And I read something that uh, used to be a new species be introduced to Hawaii every 10,000 years. 20 new species a year now. 20, 20 species. species. That was up on the signage when I was there. So that shows you that. So this is really under pressure right yeah, now. Yeah, it still is, even though. So. All right. right. Well, we have what? this nice, calm Nene yeah. to this. Uh, we probably heard him uh, off to the side. <laughs> what, what are we bringing in right We're now? We're bringing in a king vulture. Um, he's, an impr he's imprinted, meaning that we've okay, raised what, him. Okay, what is that? He's we, going to bring him over here. Okay. Yeah, he's going to bring him. Um, means that hey, we Deepak. use him in our education. Hey, buddy. This is Deepak from India. Nice to see you, Deepak. Yeah. It's a pleasure. Thanks for coming yeah. in. Thank you. Thanks what is it like to work with uh, one of these guys? No, oh, it's amazing to work with these guys because they're really a social bird. And but yeah. The interesting thing about Deepak, he's worked two years in India with vultures over there. With but, vultures? Yeah. yeah. And they're becoming very, very rare there. When you say vulture, people sort of raise an eyebrow, but what yeah. is so special about this vulture right here? This one is the king vulture from South America. He's the large, there are three major vultures, which is a turkey vultures, which we see all the time around here. All the here, time, yeah, And right. black vultures. If we don't have the king up this far north, um, his nearest relative in the north would be an Andy, uh, the um, 
uh, Californian condor. Mm -hmm. But they, they serve a purpose, and the purpose is carrion eaters. Anything on the side of the... He won't Small hurt you. He won't? No, no, no. Okay. They're not like... Well, you might just peck a little bit, but okay, they're not well, like not a hawk. Bad. They no. can't sort of draw... They don't kill animals. They just eat, well, uh, eat the carrion on the roads. Yeah. And, and Do they travel in... in in flocks? Yeah, well, you see them circling. and see, Some of them can wow. smell. In the, the one we have is a turkey vulture that smells the prey. The other ones watch them circle, and then they come over, too, with the black vultures and go down and eat the carrion. You notice the down? It's coming yeah. off of her is this, is Last this time we brought the vulture back, it had lots of that on it. And as you notice now, right. it's only a little bit's left. But the, the, the reason Deepak is over is that he's been working with vultures in India, and there's a big problem there because, you know, cattle are sacred there. Sure. And therefore, um, it, they obviously uh, make sure that they're happy, the cattle. And if they so ill... So do they get rid of these? Well, you can do so, explain. Yeah, yeah, so the cattle, so uh, we don't eat cow meat there. The cows are... We have a high population of cows there, and when they're in pain, we give them painkillers. So these painkillers, uh, after the cattle die, and the vultures feed on the carcass, oh, and they're still in there, and which is very like it is fatal to the vultures. To the vultures, so is yeah. their population in danger? Yeah, it's like we, we've lost about ninety-five percent of our total vulture population in past decade. Brett, uh, tell us about where we can find these king vultures. Uh, well, South American species, but there's 23 species of vultures in the world, and out of the 23, New World and Old World, 14 of them are endangered or critically endangered. So that shows you how important, you know, we see vultures around here and we think they're common, but they're not. There's a lot of species in the world that are really suffering. And this, and is, this is Nefertiti, and she's going to, next time we bring her back, hopefully start getting the orange, beautiful orange colors on her face. She's staring at you. How old is she? She's, she's, 11 months. she's about 11 months. months. About 11 months. Yeah. She yeah. is a beautiful bird. Nefertiti, thank you so much. Even though you're biting and pecking me, it has been an absolute <laughs> pleasure. Like, yeah. It really is. The it's things too fresh you do for you. You don't TV, need that. That's that's for sure. <laughs> Sylvan Heights Bird Park is hosting. Uh, it's Pig in the Park, where local chefs compete to become the barbecue champion on Saturday, March 18th from 5 to 8 at the park, located at 500 Sylvan Heights Parkway in Scotland Neck, North Carolina. Really, it's just a short drive. Over the border, we're going to post a link on our show website by early this afternoon at WTVR.com slash VTM. Gentlemen, great to see you. Deepak, it's yeah. a pleasure. Keep up the good work, <laughs> yeah, my friend. Thanks.